Hi there, so sorry I'm back in the studio again. It's 2023, we're in February now. Sorry if I dropped off your radar for a bit there for a few months. I got really busy towards the end of last year. I uh, was doing well, I thought I was doing quite well keeping up with the YouTube videos uh, last year in general, but I had a couple of uh, big exhibitions back to back uh, towards the end of last year. And although I was doing a kind of ongoing studio diary as it was going on, uh, it just got to a point where I couldn't keep it up, something had to give and I'm afraid it was the YouTube video. So but I got the exhibitions done, which is really good. And I'm going to be talking about those um, exhibitions and the work I did and why I was doing it and how it all came about in some future videos. So I've got that plan. But for today, what I wanted to do was just try and get back into my studio practice. It can be quite difficult, I think, sometimes after a bit of a break, you lose momentum. And so what I like to do is just keep things really simple, as you know, and just try to ease myself back into it, get my creative brain going and see where the work takes me. So today I'm just going to be doing a bit of work in my sketchbook. You know, I really like to work in my sketchbook. It's an ideas place. It's a creative place. It gets my brain moving. But what I want to do is just do that without any kind of expectations. I've got a few uh, old sketches that are sitting here that I've not really done anything with. Just going to tear them up crop them down, have a little play around with them with no expectations whatsoever. I'm a big believer in getting your creativity from doing the work. I know a lot of people like to sit around and kind of mull it over and really think about it and go, right, that's what I'm going to do. And then they go for it straight away. But what I like to do is actually let the work evolve from doing it. So rather than trying to have too many preconceived ideas in advance, I just want to be just slowly thinking about what I'm doing, while I'm doing it, and let the ideas come in a kind of natural, creative way. So let's have a look. So before I get started, I'm sure a lot of you know, for the last couple of years, I've been running some online painting and sketching workshops. The next one's coming up in April. I know it's filling up quite quickly. There are still some spaces available. So if you're interested in joining in one of my online workshops, please check out the links on the screen and the description to the video. So as I was just saying, I want to use the work I'm starting today to just begin to ease myself back into my creative studio practice after a bit of a break, get the momentum going again. I've got an exhibition coming up in a few months time and I want to just begin to start thinking about what I might want to do towards that. I always like to have a, a theme and a project as part of an exhibition, but at the moment, I don't really know what that's going to be. I've got a few ideas, but I haven't settled on anything yet. So what I really just want to do is have a play around and just get going. So let's have a look at what I've got. So all this is here is just a few uh, sketches, not really anything, just playing around. Just some marks and colors, shapes, and that's all I really want from this. Literally, these things were just lying about in my studio. They're just from some sketching that I did last year and I don't really know what I'm expecting from them and I don't want to expect anything from them either. Some quite nice marks in here. Some of this came from some work I was doing for one of the videos for my membership group, but I didn't do anything with it. I did the, this one, I remember I was sitting out by a river and doing some painting outside and we're talking about movement, trying to get movement into the painting, but I didn't really do anything with the sketch afterwards. So that might be quite a nice place to start. But I like some of the marks that are going on in there. I'd always intended to do something with it and kind of uh, try and get it into my sketchbook and finish it off a little bit. So I haven't really done anything with that. So it'd be nice to see that go somewhere. It's got some writing on it as well, which is quite interesting. I quite like the marks of the writing. So let's, um, I might start with that one, but I quite like the more colorful one as well. That was quite good fun. There was some, some really good colors and marks in here. And again, actually, I think I did this one as part of a different project video for my membership group. So, you know, I do these works for the, for the membership group, but then uh, once the video is kind of up and running, um, I'm not really doing anything with them. So it'd be quite nice to push them forward and actually do something with these marks rather than just have them kind of sitting around in the studio, uh, you know, might end up in the bin and we don't want that. So yeah, that'd be quite good fun. There's some good uh, marks in here, which were done with uh, pastel. Um, I think it was a, an oil pastel. So yeah, nice and bright and punchy colors. So I might just start with that, see what happens.
as you can see very quickly there, I just had a little play with these uh, two little sketches. Just quite like the marks in here. And as I was saying, I'm not really expecting these to be anything. They're just a little collection of marks and shapes and colors. They're nothing special. I'm not saying this is the most amazing fine art in the history of the world, but it doesn't have to be. And I think when you're doing any kind of work, just being able to kind of relax into it and have a little play, just getting some little visual ideas down. I just quite the, the idea of these little flecks of light, this kind of little flecks of light and dark, light and shadow, it's quite nice. It doesn't need to be anything else. And so you never need to put too much pressure on things like this. It's the beauty of sketchbooks. You can try out things. And the same with this one, just like these, when I was doing the cropping, I just cropped this piece out of the first, uh, first one. But I just noticed that I'd made these little circular marks on the paper I just quite like that so just again just getting it down in the sketchbook just a little reminder one day I might be doing some painting and thinking oh, what you know what does this need what kind of marks do I need on this painting and I might be flipping through my sketchbooks here and I might just see these little circular marks and think that's just you know I'll give that a go that's maybe that may work in this area of a maybe a large painting something like this behind me like I said little visual ideas note taking little visual note taking doesn't everything you do doesn't have to be the most amazing fine art it can just be little ideas that you keep for yourself and just put them in your book and they're there for when you might discover them later on i think that's probably enough for this video i'll have a go at this one next time i'm really wanting to keep these quite short so i'll do this one on the next video i've got this exhibition coming up so i just want to ease myself into it get some work done and see if I can get the ideas to develop in a quite a natural way, not want to force anything. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll be getting out soon and doing some sketching outside as well. Like I said, I'm going to do a talk through of all the work I did for the exhibitions towards the end of last year. So look out for those. And of course, again, if you're interested in my workshops or my membership group or anything like that, please do check out my website. Links here on the screen and in the description to the video. Okay, I'll see you soon.